My name is Laura Wilson and we're at Forge Bakehouse, which is a bakery in Sheffield. So my um, proposal for the site gallery residency is called Fold and Stretch, which is, um, so the work is about the choreography of making bread. And um, to develop this project, I'm going to be working with Forge Bakehouse and also a choreographer and dancers. So the idea is that um, the, the bakers would teach the dancers and the choreographer how to make bread and the movement that you use within, like quite intuitively in terms of the dough, how you manipulate that. So that will then be translated into a performance. Through the title, I really wanted to evoke the movement of the dough and how it's manipulated um, with the, by the bakers. Um, so in terms of like mixing, rolling, kneading, compressing, patting down, flattening, folding and stretching. Um, so my interest for this work in particular is stemmed from some work which I've been doing for the last couple of years through Brick Project, um, which I've been doing since 2010 when I got, um, I got awarded a travel fellowship from the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust. Um, and I travelled to um, China and Peru and the Netherlands and Belgium to investigate bricks. Um, both in terms of their material but also um, like how they're made and then how the bricks are also kind of deployed within architecture. Um, and within that, um, that project actually started whenever I um, threw a piece of work called Brick Exchange which um, was, uh, I made it in 2007, I was invited to um, develop a project on an archaeological site in Belgium and as part of that work um, I uh, worked very closely with a, um, a bricklayer over there and he taught me how to bricklay um, and then I also worked very closely with archaeologists so that I could actually work on the archaeological site. Um, so this was my interest in terms of bricks stemmed from the fact that bricks are also very human in scale similarly to bread and um, they hold within it a lot of information because um, it comes from the ground, it's clay, it's um, a kind of composite material. Um, and so I suppose in terms of it in relation to my work for a site gallery, it's that kind of relationship again to the human body and it's, I suppose it's relationship too within history and um, social and political history. Hand making bread and hand making bricks, um, I'm quite interested in that originally they would have both been very much a kind of like family run businesses, something that was passed on from generation to generation, but also in terms of the, um, the tradition of making bread or the tradition of making bricks, it is through, I guess, learning those movements from an, another person so it's passed on. Um, so in my work I collaborate a lot with different people. Um, so in past works I've collaborated with um, brick makers, um, dancers, choreographers, but I think through my collaborators it's something that's quite natural, so in terms of it's, I suppose it's like what's right for the project, but also whether or not personalities get on as well. Um, in terms of the project for Site Gallery, um, I came up to Sheffield for a visit um, in July and um, I hadn't really been much to Sheffield before and um, I did some research and made a list of all the bakeries that were in Sheffield and um, so I spent a day kind of going around and meeting different bakers. When I met with Martha at Forge Bakehouse, I was kind of explaining my project and the ethos behind it and it just seemed like we were both really on the same page and in fact she was talking about how when you're making bread you know you can kind of, it is this kind of like choreographed movement that's quite natural and um, so immediately it felt like there was a sort of synergy between us and I felt like I really wanted to develop the project with her as a collaborator. Um, I did an exhibition in 2010 at Siobhan Davies Studios, which is in London, and Siobhan Davies is a choreographer. So as part of that, um, so some of the work that I was doing involved dance to a certain extent, but I haven't formally developed a dance with a choreographer or a dancer, but I have developed performances which perhaps involve some kind of dance elements. So I suppose in terms of dancers and choreographers coming together with the bakers, um, I see it as something which uh, the movements that the bakers do are very everyday to them. And so um, something that I'm interested in pulling out is how those sort of repetitive movements, things that are intuitive, how they can be transformed or 
um, reinterpreted through working with the dancers um, and also perhaps how they could through these conversations that that the bakers maybe think about what they're doing in a slightly different way um, also with dough being such a live material that's something that I'm quite interested in so it is something that's constantly moving all the time with the yeast and um, it isn't until it's baked that it's maybe not moving anymore but I think it, with this kind of like manipulation of the material I think that's quite interesting. So in terms of during the residency while I'm at Site Gallery I'm expecting that there will be various dance rehearsals that will happen in the gallery, um, conversations um, and perhaps even bread making classes. So I'm really excited about being up in Sheffield for a month um, and to spend a whole month working on this project um, particularly because the gallery is going to be open to the public um, and I'm really excited not only with the collaborations between the bakers and the choreographers and dancers that I'm going to be working with as part of this project but also I suppose the unexpected conversations that I might have with people who live in Sheffield, but also people who, I don't know, have been maybe come to a workshop or um, just those conversations that might, might happen um, as a result of just being here and being available. And um, I'm quite interested in that unexpectedness as well and how that might influence the work. I think it's important as an artist to do residencies because it gives you the time dedicated away from your everyday life to concentrate on something and develop an idea. Um, and in particularly in the way that I work, often with other people and bringing in their expertise in certain things, it will be, I hope, a way for me to kind of um, develop this work and then see how it's influenced by conversations and um, developed kind of naturally. Um, and I think in the way that I tend to work is often over a longer period of time so that those relationships can be developed. Um, and then feed into the work. So in terms of um, a final performance for the residency, that will be in the last weekend of the, um, uh, of the residency. And I'm really excited about what that might be, because I suppose at the moment we haven't um, decided on the choreographer that we're going to be working with yet. Um, I know that I'm going to be working with Martha, which I'm really excited about. But in terms of the duration or what kind of way that the performance is going to evolve um, is something that I don't know yet but I'm really excited.